Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I'm here today to test out two new papers for the Faux Memo. The Faux Memo is a thermal printer, so it does not require any ink uh, to create the image. It just requires a special paper, which we will be using. And you can use it with a device such as your phone, an iPad. I'm not sure if there is an app for a desktop or laptop computer for OS or PC or, or whatever the case may be, but there is an app for iOS and Android. I've done a review previously on this and I will link to it in the iCard above if you want to see more details, but today we are basically testing the new papers. So the new papers are, this one is an adhesive transparent thermal film. So oh, this is thermal and the life of whatever you print is determined by the quality of the paper. So this is long-term preservation. It doesn't give you the number of years that it's supposed to last. This one says long-term preservation also. And this one is a semi-transparent sticker thermal paper. So we have basically transparent thermal film transparent thermal paper. One of them is like a translucent and one of them is clear. Uh, I've already turned the power on. I have the app on my phone already. I moved some photos over to make them easy for me to find so I don't have to spend a lot of time looking for them. So I'm gonna just go ahead and turn this off actually. And let's take out the paper that's in here. This is the standard paper that came with the phone memo when I first got it. So I'm just going to take it out. It took me a little while to figure out to pull these apart. Um, I don't know what I did with the instructions, so that's probably my fault. Um, and I'm just going to use a piece of washi tape to hold this together. Okay, so let's start with the semi-transparent. So that's the one that's not completely clear. It's got that translucent look to it. And I'm thinking I want to make labels. Um, and also you can use it in your planner, your junk journal, your December daily. Let's see if I can save this with the tape. Nope trying to rip so I'm just going to cut that piece off then I'm going to put this back in here like so and hopefully I'm putting this the right way and I think it goes like this should have paid more attention when I took it out <laughs> and then on there like that and this slips down in there like so let's bring a little paper out easy peasy okay so let's turn it back on and I put the side that I want to print on facing up okay so back to the app I'm going to go to print images and I'm going to print these pumpkins that I created for Thanksgiving. Now, it's a, it's a ping file, so I'm not sure if that's going to print that background color. It probably will, but we're going to find out. Okay, let's print. It's got, I got it connected, and I just want to print one. I usually print on thick because it gives the darkest impression or print, so. And. Yeah, it's going to print that background, but it's still nice. Ugh. Really hard to tear this one. Okay, I can't tear that. So I'm just going to have to cut it. That's interesting. It doesn't tear like the paper does. So let's trim it up. Also, I learned the hard way 
don't trim completely around it because it makes it really difficult to get the backing off. So I trim the top and the bottom, but the sides, it still has a gap between the adhesive and the backing, so it makes it easier to peel it off. So this is what this is going to look like. Um, I have a piece of white paper here. Let's pull out a piece of colored cardstock. Here we go. And it's kind of dark. Let's put it on here and see what it looks like. Ugh. So you can peel it up a little bit if you need to. So that's what it looks like on the cardstock. So let's go ahead and print. Um, I'm going to go ahead and print one more thing on this paper. Let me print my picture from Thanksgiving. Uh, Thanksgiving morning we went to Daytona Beach for a few hours. And I took a couple of selfies while I was out there. Let's print that and see what it looks like. Okay, so just got to cut it and cut it. I don't think I'm going to put that on the stock but let's put it in my planner I wonder if I have room on the page for that so I doubt that I do I moved my today sticker off my today divider already so um, it's a little big so let's stick it on the cardstock for now. I can use it somewhere else, maybe in a junk journal or something. So I'll stick it right there. And then I'm going to print a smaller version so that I can stick it right in here. So I'm going to reduce the size of this if I can grab the handle to do it. There we go. I wonder if it kind of prints out the size that you see on the screen. We'll soon find out. Let's print. I think that's going to be perfect. Now, I don't like that I have to cut this, but I do like the ability to have the translucent, so I'm not going to sweat it about cutting the paper. My nails are still recovering from chemo, so it kind of makes it a little difficult for me to do some things. <laughs> so sorry for fighting with the paper, but can't be helped. Let's trim it up nice. And oh, let me close my phone. See, can we lift the car up a little bit? Kind of stick it under there. So there it is in my planner. It's a little bit crooked, but I'm going to go and see if I can print a label. Notes. Uh, Daytona. Beach. 2019. I was trying to see if it gives you the option to change the text. Uh, but it doesn't look like it. I probably need to play around with that a little bit more. But for now, I'm just going to leave it as is and print it. And hope for the best. Oh, it came out really tiny too. I could probably make that bigger, but I'm not going to. It'll fit in the space that I need. 
and it won't be overwhelming the space so let's see if I can get this backing off probably not there we go Oop. There's that, and it's in my planner now. Okay, so that's the translucent, or what are they called? They call it semi-transparent sticker paper. So let's turn this off. I don't know if you need to turn it off to change the paper, but it makes sense that you would. And then you just slide this little button over, and it pops open. Take this out, and I'm going to... Go ahead and take this closed so that it doesn't completely unravel when I take it out. Uh, well, I probably shouldn't have done that. But <laughs> Let's just go ahead and take it out because I can tighten the roll up. The roll does come loose a little bit when you put it in the holder. So just to keep it secure. For future use, tape, put some tape back on it. Put that back in the box. So, now this is the transparent one. You can use this to make labels for jars and all kinds of stuff. I'm excited about this one too. Let's see, this one doesn't tear either. I'm just gonna leave that on there and go ahead and print what I wanna print first, which is my days of the week. Nope, I wanna save that note. I wanna go to print images and I wanna go to my days of the week and I'm gonna leave them big like they are and I'm going to print. This is a file that I made myself I had someone hand letter the days of the week for me and I put all of them in one file and then I have them separated by a dashed line so that I can cut them straight. So I have this on my phone so I can use it over and over again with my faux memo and I probably will do the same thing. Um, oh, I need to turn it back on. I probably will do the same thing with the numbers 1 through 31 so that I'll always have stickers for dating un my undated inserts and planners so let's see and you can do the same thing even with just a font that you like open the font up or create a Monday a Sunday through Monday or Monday through Sunday um, file in Google Documents and set it up the way you want it to print and then just print it Export it as a PDF, save it to your phone, whatever, and print it. If you want me to show you how to do that, let me know in the comments below and I will do that for you. This is nice. Ooh, I don't even want to use this. The only problem I see is having to cut this, which is not really a problem. It's just, I don't want to have to cut it. So that is on clear paper. I'll tell you what, instead of doing that, let's print another image. I'm going to print this I Rock With JD in Brooklyn image. And then I'm going to put it on a piece of glass so you can see what it looks like. Or a piece of a clear acrylic, maybe. Here's a lid for the container that I keep some of my bows in. Planner clips and bows. So I'm going to print this real quick. And put it on this lid so you can see what that looks like when it's clear. And I would probably even use a punch and punch this out like in a circle. You could do that if you have a circle punch 
the right size to do that with. Uh, so I just cut that real crooked. The only problem is that little thing right there. But so that's what it looks like on there. Let's hold this up behind it so you can see. So let's try, um, I'm going to print it one more time and just see what it looks like on the colored cardstock. Or I could put it on the white cardstock. what it looks like there. I'm going to go ahead and print the months of the year while I'm at it. I did the same thing with the months that I did with the days. So let's print. So now I have all the months to make dividers with for dashboards, um, specialty pages, anything you're doing. And it's on the clear paper, so that's great. Okay, so now I want to test to see if we can color on them. I don't really have anything to color on them with <laughs> other than highlighters. This, um, pen case is a pen case that I recently hauled from Amazon and so far it's fine um, these are the ones I don't use that much I kind of just toss things in here for now because I'm actually using it so um, I do have my other highlighters that I want to put in here as well let's use this one the only the only thing I don't like is that the elastics are really tight so it's hard to um, get the highlighters in and out. Okay, so let's just use what something that's already in Foam Memo. Let us go to the graphic icon down at the bottom. Oh, they got a little note, lace. Let's print this one just to see. So we could use that for several different things. So hopefully I'm not dead yet. Yep, I'm still got some charge left. And let's just print. So I'm printing it on the clear paper. And we'll test this on the translucent or semi-transparent and the regular paper just to see. So I'm just going to take this highlighter and color on there and I can see that it's puddling it's not of course it's not absorbing into the paper so that is probably not going to work take a paper towel and wipe that off so we don't make a big mess okay let's try some alcohol ink these are Copics hopefully they're not dried up um, well most of them are Copics let's go stick with the green and see what happens take a little bit of layering to get it to show 
but it looks like it works works kind of nice and then I'm sure you could probably take a sharpie or something and write over it or you could just actually print on here what you wanted to say Let's, of course we gotta try pink let's try the pink so it's still wet but it looks like it's drying slowly and that's probably because of the layering that I did to get it to show up can you hear the squeaking so this paper is really shiny Um, if you had the patience, you could actually do some shading on this, too. And some blending. Uh, I started out with the dark pink. Let's see if I can blend in some purple. probably contaminate my tips but let's see what happens nope that's not gonna blend <laughs> it just moves it around so let me clean the tip off That's probably not a good idea. <laughs> Let's put some purple back on here. So you could just like do it like that. So that's what it looks like on the clear paper. Let's put the translucent paper back in. Let's print these conversation no, let's print these flags. I can use that for something. Let's print that. Super tiny. So we already tried the highlighters, the mild liners. I think the alcohol ink is probably the best bet. Let me see if a ink joy will color on them. Yes, it will. Now will it dry? That's the question. So oh, that's coloring with the ink joy. I'm just going to hit it one time with the mild liner just to test on the outside. So yeah, it's still puddling. It's not going to absorb in. Yes. I don't have very many colors of Copics, as you can see. This is a distress marker from Tim Holtz. I'm not sure if this is water or alcohol based. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I used them. Yikes. So let's see what happens. I guess it will dry eventually. So all of that looks pretty wet still to me. Yep, that's still wet. The mild liner is still wet. The um, alcohol ink or Copic marker is still wet, but it's going to dry. You can tell it's going to dry. And the Tim Holtz Distress Marker is still a little damp. Let's change the paper one more time, back to the regular paper. 
Let's print another image to play with. I want something bigger this time. Let's print this one with the balloons. Even though that's totally not my style, let's print it. Made it big as possible. So I'm pretty sure that on this paper you can use any type of marker. Okay, one thing I didn't try were these highlighters. So let me try it on the translucent paper to see what it does. Again, the mild liner is still wet. And it puddles a little bit. They all puddle except for the gel ink. It doesn't really puddle. Um, the alcohol ink does move around on it on the paper. Let's see. That's going to just puddle. And let's test the Tim Holtz on this one too. See how it makes a little puddle right there. The excess ink that's not absorbing. So let's let those dry. And I don't think we're going to need these because I think the mild liners will work on the regular paper. I'm pretty sure you can use any of these colors on the regular paper. Let's use the other tip. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It still puddles on this paper too. So it doesn't absorb instantly. But you can color on them. You just have to be careful. So yeah, I'm, you can find a way to color these with what works, what you may have in your stash. It seems like the gel is not going to dry. It's still wet. I wonder if I hit it with a heat gun, will it make a difference? Um, this is the translucent paper. This is the clear paper. It actually does better with the alcohol ink than the translucent paper did. Um, None of them are ideal for coloring on. Probably color pencils would work good on the regular paper. I'm going to hit them with the heat gun just to see what happens real quick. I'm not going to get too close or anything because there is adhesive involved. You see how that's curling up? That does not like the heat. <laughs> um, but it did go ahead and dry the uh, mild liners. It dried the puddle and all. Um, it did, I think, yeah, the gel ink's gonna rub off. You probably would need some type of fixative on that. Um, this is still wet. All of these are going to just rub off, I think. Let me see. Where's my paper towel? I can't tell on this one if it's rubbing off or not. Yeah, it's rubbing right off. Um, I think alcohol ink is going to be the best bet. See, the gel ink rubs right off. On that one, let's see. The highlighter rubs right off. Yep, they all rub off except for the alcohol ink. So we learned alcohol ink only on the semi-transparent and the clear. And you can use pretty much anything on the paper. It's just going to take a little patience. Okay, so that's it with testing the new papers, testing whether or not you can color on the papers and all of that. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful and helpful. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Also make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit that little gray bell so that you'll receive notification each time I upload a new video. 
Be sure to check the community tab and my stories for updates throughout the week. Also check us out over at patreon.com slash scrapcraftastic for more exclusive content. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye!